out here running my trap line, and I was uh, going to my next stop. I got a little little drive. I'm going up to my northern part of my line, so my pretty much my home line, kind of my I call it the western part of my home line. Uh, it's been a little stale the past oh two days, really. A couple places it hit, but not like um, not like it used to, or not like it had. And, you know, for whatever reason, it could be the weather, it could be, um, you know, pressure from uh, night hunters or, or guys hunting with thermals. Um, but it did kind of come to life today, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to actually write it off just yet. Running a pretty long line, and got, I have probably around 120 sets out, maybe a little, maybe 122 I have to look at my my book to double check on that, but I uh, have very short, limited, you know, time. I, I don't have a lot of time to, to go out and and run traps all year or for two or three months. I have just a couple couple weeks of vacation, and you know, I I like to trap here in Ohio and try and set big goals to to hit those in Ohio and. You know, the goal is to hit a, around 100 to 150 coyotes or canine. Um, definitely want to hit over 100 coyotes, but would like to hit around 150 canine. Um, if I had a little bit more time or if I would take my vacation and instead of going out of state, use it to, to trap here locally for a little bit longer. I think, uh, you know, realistically, a good goal would be 200, 200 plus canine. But... <laughs> I like to set big goals and you know the reason I like to set big goals is because it 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 makes me want to work hard it makes me want to you know do everything I can especially like preseason work or you know while I'm out running um, say I you know finishing up the day and it's just like well you know you've caught this many and all your traps are in should you go home and scan or hey could you stop at one or two more farms and maybe get them set up and uh, potentially, you know, keep adding places, and then that leads to adding more fur in your barn. Um, So, you know, with goals, I see a lot of guys, you know, they'll set, uh, I don't want to say realistic goals, but they set goals that they know that that they'll hit. Um, You know, and not everyone's not the same. You know, you could be someone that just wants to go out and catch five, ten coyotes or, or ten coon or, you know, just have, just trap on the weekends. And, and I think that's totally fine. Um, but there are some people that want to go out and they want to, you know, push themselves and they want to see what they can do or see what they're capable of doing. And, and I think uh, if you're wanting to see what you're capable of doing, don't just set a, a goal that is easily attainable or achievable set a goal that you're going to have to work pretty hard for Uh, for instance I I set a goal I wanted to hit 200 um, canine last year and I I caught 180 was I upset that I didn't hit 200 no because I knew when I went back to the drawing board if I would have done some things or changed some things or pushed myself harder that I could have probably hit that. I mean, can I say for 100% certainty? No, because I didn't. I didn't actually do it. But I think once you look back at some of the things that you could have could have done and could have changed up, I think uh, you you could potentially be adding more uh, more 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 fur to your you know to your trap line or to your fur barn. So that said. I've never been out of state trapping, and uh, my partner has, but we've never been um, west. And we're going to go out, and you know, I was asking him. I said, "What do you, you know, what do you think's achievable? What do you think?" And he said, "I think realistically, you know, 75 to 100s, not not going to be, you know, anything to shy away from." And I said, "Well, honestly, I, I said my goal was for us to go out there and." 
you know, in the two weeks that we have out there. Let's see if we can do 200, you know, uh, two, two people trapping on some pretty good property. I have a lot of property, but the downside is we've never been out there before. You know, we don't know what the ground conditions are like. We don't know what to expect with the weather. We don't know what to um, expect with the logistics. So I'm trying to map out the logistics. Uh, I've been working on that, but when you running a full trap line here uh, and you got to scan, you got to put, put up fur. I, I'm trying not to put anything in the freezer this year. So, you know, I, I get pretty stretched thin and, you know, I still want to spend time with my family, still want to spend time with my girls and um, see my wife and, you know, my baby girl. And um, so I try not to take too much away from, from that, but It, it, it can it can get a little difficult sometimes, especially when you're trying to plan out big uh, big goals and you have big ambitions. So that was just something I kind of thought might be something just to share. Um, it's it's definitely okay just to be someone that wants to go out and catch three or four, five, six, you know, twelve, fifteen of anything, of any fur-bearing animal. But I think if you're going to try and put up large numbers, you might as well just make a goal. Uh, I, I wouldn't, if someone told me that they had a goal and say their goal was, a, you know, catch every fur-bearing animal in the state of Ohio, or say their goal was to, uh, you know, catch 75 beaver in, in two weeks in Ohio. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, but if you don't hit that goal, I'm not going to like look at you and say, "No, oh, you're you know you're a loser. You're you don't know. You don't you know. You're not very. Say you hit 55, or say you catch every fur-bearing animal except a weasel. And uh, you know, I think that's I think it's admirable, um, and I admire people that do that, or that are like that. That um, you know, they want to test the limits. They want to see how far they can go. <laughs> Why not? Why not be someone like that? Why, you know, if you're going to be out there doing it, you might as well do it to the, the fullest capability that you can possibly do it at. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. I uh, get up early in the morning, run till, I think the other day I ran till 6 o'clock at night, you know, setting up new places and then I was, uh, you know, out in the fur, fur shed, skinning and tumbling fur and working up fur. And, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, my hands are a little sore and, you, you know, you, you have little hiccups along the way. But, man, I freaking, I love it. I enjoy it. I enjoy all, all aspects of doing this. So it's not, I don't, I'm not too worked. You know, I don't get too worked up about the money aspect of it. Um, I, I'm in a different uh, position than some, but I also don't want to be losing my ass on trapping. So, although I love it, I, I do want to. I do want to try and get a little bit of return on my time spent and my investment. And uh, that's why you know the one thing is I like to. I like to do the YouTube. Um, I like to have that. I mean, I have that website. I, I, I worked pretty hard on that, and so, so did a lot of other people that helped me. Um, selling bait, selling lure, uh, about to start penning and collecting urine. So there's, there's definitely ways that you can kind of get a little return on your investment. Um, there are also oddity markets, uh, skull markets, baculums. Uh, people are buying feet, glands. So, so there's a lot of, a lot of things that you can do. It's just if you want to take the time and um, effort to go about doing it. Do you want? Why not? I mean, here's the thing: is if you start doing that, you're going to be, you're going to get very proficient, very efficient at doing it, um, and it's just going to be something that's a new skill for you, uh, or you know, something that you can potentially, quote unquote, I, I guess, add to your resume. 
Um, not that it's you, you need it, but you know, you go out and you are helping somebody or, or something. Hey, you can show them. Oh, hey, you know, you can get the glands from here, here, and you know, uh, not just their anals. You got the gallbladder and drain the gallbladder juice and um, so stuff like that. It's uh, it's just uh, there's just so many different things that you can do and. That's what really intrigues me about this, and there's so many different ways that you can catch a, a fur-bearing animal or a coyote, a, um, a red fox, or a canine if you want to trap a canine. There's so many different ways. You know, you can do a, your dirt hole flat set. You can do pee posts. You can do, and you can become efficient at doing all types of variations of those. Um, you know, although I, I, I typically just am a plain Jane guy and a trapper, and I stick to just pretty much two sets, a flat set and, um, or a variation of a flat set, and then I stick to um, like a, a trench set or a dirt hole set. So it's pretty basic. And it's, I mean, it's, some people see my sets and it's like, well, that's, you know, pretty just standard run of the mill. And it's like, yeah, but it, it catches. And there's different ways that you can, you know, you can guide a a canine there's different ways you can entice a canine and there, there's there's just so many different facets to um, what you want to do and or, or how you want to go about things and how you want to run your trap line so I guess don't you know don't be afraid to try new things but definitely find something that you can stick with and that you know, that you have perfected I don't like to use perfect perfect because you can't it's hard to be perfect but um, something that you're very very knowledgeable and efficient at doing and then you you know once you become that then you can start trying new things out but until you're and I don't want to sound like I'm preaching because you do what you want to do but in from my experience I wanted to become very efficient at setting a trench set and setting a, a flat set or a variation. So run your trap line the way you want to run your trap line, but I do want to encourage people to, to really push themselves or, or be that top 10% or 5% or 1% of uh, what you want to do or the industry you want to be in. Or So, you know, with that said, I'm about to pull up to my next farm and... Uh... Oh, shit. Ooh came out of nowhere but with that said uh, I'm about to pull into my next farm and uh you know I'll uh I'll keep you guys posted later